Orhan Ghazi, Ottoman Turkish, Orhan Ghazi, likewise spelled Orkin, circa 1281, walk 1362, was the second bay of the Ottoman Beylik from 13 and 23 fourths to 1362. He was brought into the world in Sogut, as the child of Osman I. In the beginning phases of his rule, Orhan zeroed in his energies on vanquishing the greater part of northwestern Anatolia. Most of these areas were under Byzantine rule and he won his most memorable fight at Pelican and against the Byzantine sovereign Andronicus III Palaeologus. Orhan additionally involved the grounds of the Karasids of Balukhesir in the Ice of Ankara. A progression of nationwide conflicts encompassing the climb of the nine-year-old Byzantine ruler John V. Palaiologos significantly helped Orhan. Citation needed. In the Byzantine nationwide conflict of 1341-1347, the official John VI Kanakuzanos wedded his girl Theodora to Orhan, and utilized Ottoman champions against the opponent powers of the sovereign dame permitting them to steal from Thrace. In the Byzantine nationwide conflict of 1352-1357, Kanakuzanos utilized Ottoman powers against John V, conceding them the utilization of an European fortification at Simp around 1352. Two, three, a significant tremor crushed Gallipoli, current Jellibolu, after two years, after which Orhan's child, Suleiman Pasha, involved the town, giving the Ottomans a solid bridgehead into Central Area Europe. As per Muslim researcher Ibn Battuta, Orhan was the best of the Turkmen rulers and the most extravagant in riches, terrains, and military forces. Osman Ghazi passed on in either 1323 or 1324, 5, and Orhan succeeded him. As per Ottoman custom, when Orhan succeeded his dad, he proposed to his sibling, Aladdin, that they ought to share the arising realm. The last option denied because their dad had assigned Orhan as sole replacement, and that the realm out, not be partitioned. He just acknowledged as his portion the incomes of a solitary town close to Bursa. Orhan then told him, since my sibling, thou won't take the groups and the crowds that I offer you, be thou the shepherd of my kin, be my vizier. The word vizier, vizier in the Ottoman language, from Arabic wazir, implied the carrier of the weight. Aladdin 
in tolerating the workplace, acknowledged his siblings' weight of force as per Oriental and Aquarians. Aladdin, in the same way as other of his replacements in that office, didn't frequently order the armed forces face to face. However he involved himself with the establishment and the board of the common and military foundations of the state. As per a few specialists, it was in Aladdin's time, and by his recommendation, that the Ottomans stopped behaving like vassals to the Seljuk ruler. They at this point not stepped cash with his picture or involved his name in open supplications. These progressions are credited by others to Osman himself, yet by far most of the Oriental essayists agree in crediting to Latin the presentation of regulations regarding the ensemble of the different subjects of the realm. and the creation and financing of a standing multitude of normal soldiers, it was by his recommendation and that of a contemporary, Turkish legislator that the commanded corps of Janissaries was shaped. An establishment which European journalists erroneously citation needed, fixed sometime in the not too distant future, and credit to Muradi. Aladdin, by his tactical regulation, might be really said to have coordinated triumph for the Ottoman tradition. He coordinated for the Ottoman Beylik a standing multitude of consistently paid and trained infantry and ponies. An entire 100 years before Charles VII of France laid out his 15 long-lasting organizations of men-at-arms, which are by and large viewed as the main present-day standing army. Orhan's ancestors, Arturul and Osman I, had made battle at the top of the outfitted vassals and volunteers. This military rode riding a horse to their ruler's standard when called for every undertaking and were disbanded when the mission was finished. In 1345, there was a difference in technique. Rather than expecting to acquire land from non-Muslims, Orhan assumed control over a Turkish realm. Kerasi, present Baluk Hasir and environmental elements. As indicated by Islamic way of thinking of war, the regions under Islamic rule were to be habitations of harmony in different regions houses of war. Leading a conflict in homes of war was viewed as a decent deed. Karasi realm was a state represented by a Turkish emir and its primary occupants were Turkish so it was a house of harmony. The Ottomans needed to have unique legitimization for overcoming individual Muslim, Turkish realms. On account of Karasi, the ruler had passed on and had passed on two children whose cases to the post of Emir were similarly substantial. 
so there was a battle between the outfitted allies of the two petitioner rulers. Orhan's guise for intrusion was that he was going about as a bearer of harmony. Toward the finish of the intrusion by Ottoman soldiers the two siblings were pushed to the palace of their capital city of Pergamum, presently Bergama. One was killed and the other was caught. The regions around Pergamum and Paleocastro, Belokesir, were added to Orhan's areas. This victory was especially significant, since it carried Orhan's regions to Chinakale. The Anatolian side of the Dardanelles waterways, with the success of Kerasi, Almost the entire of northwestern Anatolia was remembered for the Ottoman Beylik, and the four urban communities of Bursa, Nicomedia, Nicaea, and Pergamum had become fortresses of its power. At this phase of his victories, or Han's Ottoman realm had four regions a 20-year time of harmony. Followed the obtaining of Kerasi. During this time, the Ottoman sovereign was effectively involved in culminating the common and military organizations which his sibling had presented, in getting interior request in establishing and blessing mosques and schools, and in the development of tremendous public structures, large numbers of which actually stand. Orhan went on with no different successes in Anatolia aside from assuming control over Ankara from the business strict organization Society of Ice. The overall dispersion of Turkish populaces over Anatolia, before Osman's time, was in primary section a push from the Mongol victory of Focal Asia, Iran and afterward East Anatolia. Turkish people groups had established various territories after the destruction of the Anatolian Sultanate of Rum, after its loss by the Ilkhanate Mongols, despite the fact that they were Turkish stock. They were all adversaries for prevailing status in Anatolia. Orhan created amicable relations with Andronicus III Paleologus, and kept up with them with a portion of his replacements. Subsequently, the Ottoman power encountered a 20-year time of general rest. After the Byzantine loss of the clash of Pelican Nonetheless, as the Byzantine nationwide conflict of 1341-1347 disseminated the last assets of the Byzantine domain, the helper multitudes of the emirs of Turkish realms were and utilized in Europe, regularly brought over. In 1346, ruler John VI Kondakuzan perceived Orhan as the most impressive sovereign of the Turks. He tried to connect the Ottoman powers for all time to his inclinations, and would have liked to accomplish this by giving his subsequent little girl, Theodora, in union with their ruler, regardless of contrasts of statement of faith and the difference old enough. Be that as it may, 
in Byzantine and in Western European history. Dynastic relationships were very regular and there are numerous models which were significantly more strange. The quality of the wedding among Orhan and Theodora at Slumbria, Silivri, is intricately portrayed by Byzantine journalists. In the next year, Orhan and Theodora visited his supreme father by marriage at Iskadar. Then Chrysopolis, the suburb of Constantinople on the Asiatic side of the Bosporus where there was a presentation of Mary Wonder. In any case, This cozy relationship soured when Byzantines experienced ravaging transient Turkoman groups that had crossed the Marmara Ocean and Dardanelles and looted a few towns in Thrace. Still up in the air to guarantee any future accomplishment by framing a corps of paid infantry which was to be saved, in consistent preparation for administration. These soldiers were called Yaya, or Piyad. They were separated into tens, hundreds, and thousands with their authorities. Their compensation was high, and their pride before long caused their Sovereign some uneasiness. Orhan wished to give a check to them, and he consulted this reason with his sibling Aladdin and Kara Khalil Sandarli, of place of Kandar, who was associated with the regal house by marriage. Sandarli laid before his lord and the vizier a task. Out of this emerged the prestigious corps of Janissaries, which was viewed as the scourge of the Balkans and focal Europe for quite a while, until it was cancelled by King Mahmud II in 1826. Citation needed Sandarli proposed to Orhan to make the Janissary Corps, a military completely made out of the offspring of vanquished places. That's what Sandarli contended. The vanquished are the obligation of the winner, who is the legal leader of them, of their territories of their products, of their spouses, and of their youngsters. We reserve an option to do, same as how we manage our own, and the treatment which I propose isn't just legal, yet big-hearted. By upholding the selecting them in the positions of the military, we counsel both their worldly and timeless interests, as they will be taught and given better life conditions. Citation needed. He likewise guaranteed that integrating offspring of the vanquished would initiate others to join up, their companions and relations, who might come as volunteers to join the Ottoman positions. Following up on this guidance, Orhan chose 1,000 of the best young men from vanquished Christian families. The enlisted people were prepared by their singular capacities, 
and utilized in posts going from proficient trooper to fabulous vizier. This training went on for a really long time, until the rule of king. Orhan attacked Byzantine regions in northwest Anatolia. To start with, in 1321, Orhan caught Mudania, the port connecting the city of Bursa to the Ocean of Marmara coast. He then sent his section under Connor snow-capped mountain towards the west dark ocean coast. One more segment under Aquita to catch Gojale. Lastly a segment to catch the southeast. Shoreline of the Ocean of Marmara. Then, at that point, he caught Bursa by convincing its Byzantine leader to surrender. As Evrenos Bay, he turned into a commandant of light-mounted force. And he and his children and grandsons drove Ottoman soldiers in the Balkans. Whenever Bursa was caught, Orhan sent mounted force towards the Bosphorus, catching Byzantine towns on the Marmara coast. There were even sightings of Ottoman light rangers along the Bosphorus coast, and Ottoman powers laid attack to Nicaea, second just to Constantinople in the Byzantine realm. In 1329, Byzantine ruler Andronicus III drove a soldier of fortune armed force to ease Nicaea and recover Kajale. In the following skirmish of Pelicanon, presently Derica, close to Scutari, presently Euskadar, on 10 or 15th of June, Orhan's focused soldiers steered the Byzantines. From that point Andronicus deserted getting Kojale. Back and at absolutely no point in the future directed a field fight against Ottoman powers. Nicaea gave up to Orhan following a three-year attack that closed in 1331. Orhan caught Nicomedia in 1337. Orhan provided the order of Nicomedia to his oldest child, Suleiman Pasha, who had coordinated the tasks of the attack. In 133, Orhan caught Skutari. The greater part of northwest Anatolia was in Ottoman hands. The Byzantines actually controlled the waterfront take from Sile on the dark ocean to Scutari and the city of Amastris, presently Amazra, in Paphlagonia. Yet these were so dissipated and confined as to be no danger to the Ottomans. After a progression of such strikes, the Byzantines needed to utilize better powers than manage them. Ibn Battuta gave the accompanying record of Orhan during his rule, the best of the rulers of the Turkmens, and the most extravagant in abundance, terrains and military powers. Of posts he is almost 100, 
and for the vast majority of his time he has constantly participated in making a series of them, remaining in every fort for a day's due. Place it neat and tidy and look at its condition. It is said that he has never remained for an entire month in any one town. He likewise battles with the unbelievers, persistently and holds them under attack. Ibn Battuta During Orhan's rule as the Ottoman Emir, the Byzantine domain declined, somewhat because of the desires of Italian sea states and to the hostility of the Turkomans and other city Turks. Yet in addition because of nationwide conflicts inside the realm, conflicts inside the realm. During these years the Byzantine domain turned out to be feeble to the point that business matchless quality in the encompassing oceans around it turned into a bone of conflict for the Italian sea business city-states. The Republic of Genoa had Galata, a different Genoese city across the brilliant horn from Constantinople itself. The Genoese had battled the Byzantines before in 1348 when the Byzantines had diminished their traditions levies to draw an exchange to the Byzantine side of the brilliant horn. In 1352 the competition for exchange prompted a conflict among Genoa and Venice. The Genoese, in opposing a Venetian armada going after their boats in the brilliant horn. besieged the ocean walls of Constantinople and pushed the Byzantines to align with the Venetians. The Venetians collected a huge maritime power, including employed armadas from Peter IV of Aragon and from the Byzantine domain of John VI Cantacuzin. The ocean fight between the Venetian Armada under the order of Niccolo Pisani and the Genoese Armada under Paganino Doria prompted rout of Venetians and their Byzantine allies. Den, Orhan went against the Venetians. whose armadas and piratical strikes were disturbing his offshore territories, and who had met his conciliatory suggestions with hatred. The Venetians were partners of John VI. So Orhan sent an assistant power across the waterways to Galata, which there co-worked with the Genoese. Turks a super durable traction on the European side of the Dardanelles waterways. He likewise began to settle traveler Turkomans in town staying Turks in the essential city and palace of Jelibolu, Gallipoli. which had been crushed by a serious quake and was consequently emptied by its occupants. Suleiman declined different monetary promptings presented by John VI to purge the palace and the city. The sovereign begged his child and regulation or Han to meet actually and examine the matter. 
yet the solicitation was either dismissed or couldn't be done because of Orhan's agent's sick health. This tactical circumstance stayed unsettled, to some extent in light of the ejection of threats between John VI and his co-ruler and child and regulation, John V. Paleologus. Paleologus. John V was excused from his royal post and banished to Tenedos. Kantakuzin's child Matthew was delegated as the co-head. Yet, very soon John V got back from exile with Venetian assistance and directed an upset. Assuming control over the public authority of Constantinople, albeit the two men came to a consent, to share power, John VI left his royal post and turned into a priest. Every one of these two contenders for power was consistently requesting Orhan's guide against the other, and Orhan upheld whichever side would help the Ottomans. Orhan was the longest living and one of the longest prevailing representing things to come Ottoman rulers. And his last years he had left the majority of the abilities of state in the possession of his second child Murad, and carried on with a separated life in Bursa. In 1356 Orhan and Theodora's child, Khalil, was snatched someplace on the narrows of Izmid, a Genoese business boat chief, which was directing demonstrations of robbery close by business action. And take him over to Phocia on the Aegean Ocean which was under Genoese rule. Orhan was a lot of unglued about this hijacking and led chats with his brother by marriage and presently sold Byzantine sovereign John V. Paleologos. Regarding the understanding, John V with the Byzantine maritime armada went to Phocia paid the payment requested of 100,000 high perpira, and took Khalil back to an Ottoman area. In 1357 Orhan's oldest and most experienced child and possible beneficiary, Suleiman Pasha, passed on after wounds supported from a tumble from a pony close to Bolaire on the shore of the Ocean of Marmara. The pony that Suleiman tumbled from was covered close by him and their burial places can in any case be seen today. Orhan was said to have been incredibly impacted by the passing of his child. Orhan kicked the bucket before long, reasonable from regular causes. It appears to be somewhat possible that the passing of his child was burdening on his well-being, notwithstanding. Orhan kicked the bucket in 1362, in Bursa, at 80 years old, after a rule of 36 years. He is covered in the Turbe, burial chamber, with his better half and kids, called Gumwas Lukumbat in Bursa.